All right, trucker chop, P53. Might get cut short because they're loading my truck. But what we need to do, America, just let, let I'm just gonna let, you know, what, whatever, man. We need to put our freaking phones down, first of all. Put our damn phones down for two days. Can you put your damn phone down for two days? Okay, one day. Let's take next Saturday, actually the last Saturday of January, put our freaking phone down, okay? And think, let's, let's take a look at where we're at as a nation. Think about where our nation's going. Think about it. Don't, I mean, meditate on it. Where the hell we're at. Because we are not in a good place, folks. We're not in a good place. Between Obama, eight years, the dude lied. Change, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and I didn't vote for the dude, but when he got voted in, I thought, okay, He's a black president. He's going to be one of the first black presidents. Great. So maybe we can get over some of this hump. No. The guy, when he left, our nation was more divided than we've been in 20 years. 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. I mean, my gosh. You know, promoting cops getting shot. You know, he didn't say it directly, but he sure didn't talk it down too much. Right? Birthing BLM, Antifa. These little punk-ass groups. You guys think that was bad. If shit pops off, you ain't never seen a conservative with an attitude. Let me tell you. Because we're going home, and we don't care who we got to take down to do it. Now, I ain't promoting violence in any way. That's my whole damn point. Put your damn phones down. And think. Think where we're at. Realize the world that you're going to be giving your damn kids. You know, Trump, I don't really like the dude's personality, but the dude's got a set, and he's willing to step up front and swing. The only thing he's been guilty of, if you sit down, put your freaking phone down, shut your television off, think about it. The only thing he's guilty of is having a sucky personality and loving America. If you want to be a big dog, and you want to run with the front of the pack, yo, you got to have a freaking attitude. These people that he's dealing with, these tyrannical governments, those people don't care about anything. They got prestige. They want to know how the world views them. And that's all. That's what he's dealing with. These, these huge egos. He's got a huge ego. You need an ego to fight an ego. They're, they're the same kind of people. But this dude loves America. He loves our Constitution. The Constitution that set slaves free. You realize that? That Constitution set slaves free. And it took a minute, all the Jim Crow with the Democrats and all that stuff. Y'all need to sit down and read for a damn minute. Understand the party who, that caused a lot of the problems for the blacks. To this day, you got ghetto, ghetto vote plantations. That's all it is. That's all the damn ghetto is. A bunch of ignorant people, a bunch, I didn't say all, but a bunch of ignorant people, right? Voting for free money and free stuff. Never worked a damn day in their life. We got generational people, y'all. Grew up in the ghetto. Didn't even want to get out the ghetto. Where we live, we do our hustle. We die young. That's, that's what we want to do? That's the kind of country you want? That's the kind of people you want? Those are the kind of people that need a tyrant. And that's why there's millions of them. Millions of people that are ignorant, don't read, don't double check nothing. Just follow. You know? I'll tell you what, grab the book, uh, the Quran. Read the first, I don't know, three or four chapters. That's the day that they're living in. Right now, what you're going to read in those three or four chapters is the time they're living in right now. Their book is like backwards, historically. It starts out Mecca, he leaves Mecca, goes to Medina. Gathers an army, goes back to Mecca, takes Mecca over. That's a whole nother story and a whole nother thing to talk about. But, hey, you, they're importing these kind of people into our ghettos and giving a bunch of people that are angry some leadership uh, and, and ways to vent that anger. Islam, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Islam holds the cards when it comes to the victim. They've been victims their whole damn life. That's how they view themselves. 
that's what their book's kind of based on retaliation and justification of being and doing things wrong because they're a victim y'all need to put your damn phones down I'm gonna leave it right there because I got these guys are almost done with me so I'm gonna leave it right there put your freaking phones down for a day two days if you could oh my god go through fucking withdrawal but put your damn phone down read a book take 10 minutes to think of the world you're leaving behind or the world you're allowing to be created because we are on the brink yo we are on the brink and uh there's countries that are around us not not directly but there's countries in this world that really want to see us fall you know and uh most of it's just pure jealousy because we kick ass we're the baddest mother f's on the, on the planet and uh that's changing because of standards pc political correctness so in order to let everybody get a prize you got to lower the fucking standard we got a bunch of punks and pussies running shit i'm not saying that they're not brave i'm not saying that they don't have courage i'm just saying that it ain't the same as it was, yo. And there's people out there that are going to hurt people. They are coming to hurt you. This ain't the damn movies. Right? You can't pull out a fucking car to go, oh, my knee hurts. You better suck it up and get through it. Anyway, put your damn phones down. Educate. Think of the world that we're, we're, we're a part of right now. And these people that are running our government, you better sit down and fucking think. Have a blessed day, right? Cursing one side, praising the other. Hey, whatever, man. I'm just doing the best I can. Trucker Tough, D53, out.